All right, this is second grade, module five, lesson 15. And in this lesson, we're going to be using that standard algorithm for subtraction, but we're going to be using, we're going to continue using the math drawings, like the place value disks, in order to make meaning and make sure we understand the algorithm rather than just have a rule that our students memorize. So in this problem, we're told to solve using drawing chips, the place value disks, the number disks here. And then we're going to use addition to check our work. And we're given right here a choice to either solve the problem mentally or vertically. And uh, this problem, I'm going to actually do both because it's a really nice problem. So let's first solve using the place value chart. So I'm going to grab my blue. And we're going to first model 742. So we've got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So there's 700. And then we've got 40. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and then 2, 1, 2. And now uh, what we're going to do is we need to model subtracting 495. So when we subtract 495, the first thing we need to do is we need to subtract five ones. But we don't have five ones to subtract. So we're going to take one of these tens and unbundle him. And we're going to unbundle him so that we get ten ones. So one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we have 12 ones all together because we used to have 2. We unbundled this guy, so now we have an extra 10. So now we have 12 all, to, all together. And this guy is gone. He goes away because we've unbundled him. And now we're ready to do some subtracting. So it says to subtract 5. So cross off 5. So that's pretty easy. 1, 2. 2, 3, 4, 5, and when we cross off 5, that leaves us with 7 ones. And now it says to subtract 9 tens. Well, we only have 3 tens, so we can't subtract 9 tens, so we're going to unbundle. And we're going to take one of these hundreds and unbundle him, and that's going to give us 10 tens. So we're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now instead of having just the 3 tens up here, we now have 13 tens, and that's enough for us to cross off or take away 9 tens. So let's do that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so there's 9, and that leaves us with these 3 up here plus 1 down here. So that leaves us with 4 tens. And then lastly, now this guy is no longer here because he got unbundled. So now it says to take away 4 hundreds. Well, we certainly can do that. So we're going to cross off 1, 2, three, four, and that leaves us with two hundreds. So our answer is 247. So let's do that using the uh, vertical method. So over here, 742 minus 495. Teachers and parents, when your students are doing this, make sure they're lining up those di uh, those uh, digits. The ones column, the ones on top of the ones, the tens on top of the tens, and the hundreds on top of the hundreds. So you can see we're supposed to take away five ones, but we only have two ones. So that means we need to do some unbundling. So when I unbundle, I'm gonna, that's going to leave me with three tens. And when we unbundle, we get 10 ones, which means we're now going to have 12 ones because we already had two, and then we unbundled and got 10 more, so that means we have 12. And so now, 12 
take away 5 leaves us with 7. And then we have 3 tens take away 9 tens. Well, we can't do that. So that means we're going to need to unbundle 100. That's going to leave us with 600s. And then uh, that's going to give us 10 tens. We already have 3 tens, so that makes it 13 tens. There. So now we have 13 take away 9 leaves us with 4. And then we have 600s take away 400s that leaves us with 200. So the answer is 247, which is exactly what we knew all along. Now we should check it. So let's check it. So checking means we're going to take the 247, which is our answer, and we're going to add 495. And let's make sure we get 742. So when we add 7 ones plus 5 ones, that gives us 12 ones. So that's 2 ones left over, and we can bundle 10 of those together to, to get an extra dot in the tens column. And then we have 4 tens plus 9 tens plus 1 ten. So that's 14 tens. So that means we're going to have four tens left over in the tens column and we can bundle ten of those tens together for one in the hundreds column and then two hundreds plus four hundreds plus one hundred that's seven hundreds so our answer is seven hundred and forty two which is exactly what we were supposed to have seven hundred and forty two so that tells us our answer of two hundred and forty seven is correct now, I promised you a different method, uh, a, a second method, a mental method. And so, parents, teachers, let me, let me show you what might have been a really nice approach on this one. So, we had 742, and we subtract, and I don't remember what the, oh, 495, that's right. So, we subtract 495. Well, the idea would be, we learned this in an earlier lesson in second grade, which is, hmm, if we add the same amount to both of these numbers, we get a different problem, but it's the exact same solution. It'll have the same answer. And I could see that 495 is really close to the landmark number of 500. So if I add 5 to both numbers, we're going to end up with 747 minus 500. And this problem will have the exact same answer as 742 minus 495, but this one is probably a lot easier to do. 700s take away 500s is 200s, and then 47 take away nothing is 247. So there's our answer. Now that's the exact same answer that we got up above right here, but probably a whole lot less work. So, teachers and parents, give your students some think time to decide if they want to solve the problem using the standard algorithm, the vertical method, or if they want to use some sort of mental method which might be far easier than using the standard algorithm. So I've already modeled the 941, and in order to subtract the eight ones, we're going to have to unbundle. So we're going to unbundle that, and that's going to give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that guy's gone because he's unbundled. And then we're going to cross off eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, leaving us with these three right here. So the answer has three ones in it. And then it says we're going to take away two tens. Well, that's straight up easy. We could just do one, two. So we took away two tens, so that gives us one ten left over. And then we're going to take away six hundreds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, leaving us with these three hundreds. So the answer is 313. And we should do this using, oh, let's do this with the vertical method. So we have 941 subtract 628. 
So parents, teachers, this video, this portion of the video is going really fast. So it's your task to, well, first off, maybe not show this to the kids. This is really for the benefit of the adults. But if you want to show students this, that's fine. Just make sure you pause and rewind frequently and often. All right, so here we have one, uh, one, one, and we're supposed to take away eight. So we're going to unbundle one of the tens, leaving us with three tens. And that gives us 11 ones instead of just one one. And now we have 11 minus 8, and that gives us 3. And then we have 3 tens, take away 2 tens, that's 1 ten. And then we have 9 hundreds, take away three hundred, uh, 6 hundreds, gives us 3 hundreds. So our answer is confirmed, it's 313, but really we should check. And we're going to check using addition. So we got 313, we're going to add... 628, and we really, really hope we get 941 as our answer. So 3 plus 8 is 11, plus we're going to bundle 10. And then we have 1 10 plus 2 10s plus 1 10, so that's 4 10s, nothing to bundle. And then we have 300s plus 600s is 900s. And that's the exact answer we were hoping to get, so we've checked it out. We're right. And the last slide for this video, I included this one for the parents and the teachers just because it refers to a number bond, and, and this is probably not something we're familiar with from when we were kids, so I thought I would show it to you. Essentially, it's the old fact families, and they just write it in a, in a special way. So a couple ways we could do it. We could do a horizontal, so let's do the horizontal. And the number bond for this first problem up here would look like this. So we're going to start with our 928. And the two numbers that add together to equal 928, and because I'm looking at the problem, is 519 and 409. And that's our number bond right there. Done. And so uh, if we wanted to fill in the blanks, it would be 928 minus 409 is equal to 519. And then 519 plus 409 is 928. Now, there are a, a, another way to draw that number bond. Another way is you could do it kind of, I guess, vertical, vertically, and write 928 like this, and then 519 and 409 like this. So it's a number bond. Uh, it's worth our kids understanding these things because this is really going to play uh, a big part in upper grades, later grades. So we want to get kids now thinking about the concept of decomposing a number and, uh, and then it maintains its overall value, but you're decomposing it into its parts. Similarly, we could do this one. So let's see, this is going to be 764 and then the two parts is 391 and, oh my goodness, oh, they didn't give it to us. Oh my goodness, so that means we have to actually subtract. So 764 take away 391. So 4 minus 1 is 3. 6 tens take away 9 tens, we can't do, so we're going to have to unbundle. And so now we have 16 tens take away 9 tens, so that's 7 tens, and then we have six hundreds take away three hundreds is three hundred. So it's three hundred seventy-three is our other portion of that number bond. And so we should really fill that in. So let's see, it's the missing part here is three hundred and seventy-three, and the missing part here is three hundred and seventy-three. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 5, Lesson 15, where we are still using those math drawings, but it's because we're now practicing the standard algorithm for subtraction.